You know, Lisa, there is a lot of history being celebrated in Atlantic City this week, the 60th anniversary of the repeal of Prohibition. And in the 13 years that Prohibition was in existence, speakeasies, much like this one set up here for this weekend, were in existence all across the country and right here in Atlantic City. In fact, Gardner's Basin was a favorite spot for rum runners, believe it or not. Hello? What's the password? Uh, Harborfest? Right. John Cossack takes a look back. When people think of the Atlantic City of the 1920s and 30s, this is the picture the mind conjures up. The Prohibition era had a mind of its own, and for those wanting to step around the law, Atlantic City provided plenty of opportunities and made no attempt to hide it. Other towns at least went through the motions of pulling the shades down, turning the neon off. Atlantic City, the officials had to go around and plead with the tavern owners, at least pull the shades down, Pat. You know, turn off the neon. What you have to remember is that the territorial waters at that time, or the waters in which the law could be enforced, went out only three miles. So the cargo ships loaded with the illegal alcohol would go out that far and set up anchor. The speedboats at the time, or the rum runners, would go out and pick up the illegal booty and bring it back here to the many inlets behind Atlantic City, including Gardner's Basin. Because of the fact that there was so much water, they were often very difficult to catch. In the old days, the rule was if you made it in the inlet past the Coast Guard boats that were out there, it was like a game of tag. You were home free. Gardner's Basin, in particular, from our research, uh, this was really world headquarters. And of course, the Coast Guard station, as you can see, well, actually, you could forgive them. They don't have any windows on that side <laughs> of the building, so... Uh... Right across the water. The rum runners weren't very afraid of the law back then. One man who remembers is retired Atlantic City what Fire Chief Ed Jordan, who worked as a police officer during Prohibition. Now at 87, he remembers one particular incident one night working on the boardwalk. I hit the box at Virginia Avenue, and I come down to Pennsylvania Avenue, and here's some people rowing in on a rowboat alongside a steeplechase pier. Now I'm in full police uniform. We know we're looking at them. And I said, what's this? And they said, where's John? I said, I'm John. He said, well, we'll leave a can for you underneath the steps. So I said, well, all right. And I went around my business. Well, when I come back, I looked under the steps and I had a five gallon can of denatured 100 proof alcohol. <laughs> And they are the stories which gave Atlantic City its early image. An image being recreated all this weekend at Gardner's Basin. On the road in Atlantic City, John Kalsik, News Center 40.